Hello, um, welcome back to a new video. So I'm literally finally recording. I think no, it's the second to last part of the How to Care for a Daegu um, series. I don't know why I'm doing that. Completely ignore that. I'll probably put something over that. Um, so today's video is just going to be about general care requirements and like bedding and stuff like that. So I'll start off with um, bedding. You need to use a like. I used to use a like paper based bedding but then I just changed it to fleece and now I just put hay over the top of it for them. Um, so to be honest as long as you, they can't like swallow it and it doesn't hurt them it's fine. My day goos don't really chew the fleeces so I'm fine with that. You should never use sawdust because the dust from that can be really harmful to day goos. Um, so you should never use sawdust, like, points. Um, it's also worth investing in, I've got two books. A couple of books about Degus. I've got these two. These are really helpful, the pet friendly ones, and this is just one that I found at my local pet shop, which I got. They're really helpful. You should, you should do your research before you commit to buying a pet because some of them can live very long, some of them live very short, some of them have different care requirements because they use, have different care requirements because they're classed as an exotic pet. So, yeah, basically. <laughs> um, so that's bedding and I suppose another kind of sort of thing about bedding is they need to have a dusting powder. So I need to clean this one out. Um, I just quickly... Go grab the packet. I'll be back quickly. Literally just went over there like a meter over then to get it. So I use. Hang on. Sorry. <coughs> Bless me. I use a chinchilla dusting powder. <laughs> um, yeah, dusting powder. Is it? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Well, kind of. It's more of like a sand granulate thing. Less of a powder. But. So chinchillas and dagoos, so works well. You can also use it for hamsters, but they need to have a dust bath at least, at least every week. That's important. Um, so yeah. Um, and to keep their teeth like good um i use chews just gotta go and get something again oh my god i'm going everywhere so i've got this chew from pets at home that i use they all they do like different types of them and stuff so but that's the one that i use um what else I'm wondering about. they also need like i use um uh, Winter's got some wooden shoes that um, he shoes quite a lot, so that's cool. Um, I suppose I don't know any other beddings that you should really like never use. If you do get um, a book, they normally have like a page on like bedding and set here we go, setting up home, have all the toys and everything. So I think the next thing I'm going to talk about, I think in the next video probably is going to be toys and just like stimulation and stuff like that and environmental things and what jobs Hay does. Actually no, I'll talk about Hay's later. Um, so just like toys and stimulation and stuff. So with Hay, as well as making the gut work well, it's also good for bedding as well. So... Just like normal hair, you know, like make beds out of it and stuff. Because I've got one of them's got a cardboard box. Autumn's got a cardboard box, um, which I'll quickly show you. Where's that? It's really bright today. Oh my word! It's got a cardboard box. Just that. Oh my word! So yeah, that's nice. For him, you can sunbathe on top of it. Hello. So yeah, I'm trying to feature autumn a little bit more because 
not really been doing it for the last few for the last week or so. So I kind of need to. Um, so yeah, autumn's just on hay and a fleece like winter. So yeah, kind of the same thing. I find it very it like works well and stuff. So have you got any other tips and stuff that I haven't mentioned bedding wise? Please say them in the comments and please like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.